Hello my sweet friends, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Becky and welcome to Kinda Shabby. Now normally my videos consist of a crafting tutorial, some kind of DIY or upcycle, but as you saw in the title, I am reopening my Etsy store. I am so excited and I hope you will be too. The store itself will be back online on Friday, January 28th, 2022 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, the items that will be available for purchase will be shipped within the United States only. I do apologize that I am not equipped for international shipping at this time. Now, I have so many items to show you, and I am going to do my best to have every single thing that I show you all up and ready to purchase on next Friday. However, if there is something that you see that hasn't quite made it into the shop yet, just keep checking back because I promise you I am going to keep adding things until everything that I'm going to show you today has been listed for sale. So I can't wait to share with you the things that are going to be in my shop. First up, this gorgeous shabby basket. You guys saw me give this a beautiful paint wash and also decoupage this fabric label on here. And you get one of my signature shabby tassels as well. This was probably one of my favorites that I've done here on the channel. I think it was definitely the most interesting. This is an old lamp base, and then my hubby cut these rounders for me to give this some stability. And then we took this gorgeous wood round to make this cake pedestal. I just think this is gorgeous. I have these two gorgeous candlesticks, and this one you guys saw me paint on my channel and this one i actually had done this for a vintage market where i was selling at and this is just so cute with these gorgeous little votive cups that i have applied to the top here of this candlestick and it just gives it such a beautiful glow when you've got your candle in there then I have some painted and stamped wine bottles. You girls know how much I love my Iron Orchid Design stamps, and I just thought these turned out really cute. This one has the little cow on there, pure cream, kind of a farmhousey look. So I've accented that with some black and white buffalo check. And then for this one, I made a cute little wood beaded garland to go on the side of that. Continuing on with our stamped theme, I have these cute little adorable stamped burlap bags. They look great as gift bags and they also look really cute if you put a mason jar in there with some fairy lights and a little bit of greenery. Really, really cute on a tablescape. Then I have some flower sack cloths that I have again used my Iron Orchid Designs stamps on and they are just so cute and I just love these. I actually have a couple of these in my kitchen as well and there'll be more designs to choose from. These are just the first ones that I grabbed, but aren't they cute? They are machine washable. You just want to make sure that are cold water wash, no bleach. And then you gals saw me refurbish this gorgeous rolling pin. And I love this little aqua color that I've applied to each handle here. It has been painted, sealed with several coats of polycrylic. And then the section here has been rubbed and buffed with some butcher block conditioner. And this was also a really fun project that I shared with you girls. I used the Iron Orchid Designs Cameo Mold and applied that to our gorgeous painted silver. We're going to move along to our next group of items, and I also want to apologize in advance for some of the shipping prices that the Postal Service is going to be charging. I am not Amazon. I do apologize that I cannot ship it to you for free. I do have to use the Postal Service to send these items out to you, and just know that the larger and the heavier the item, the more that the shipping cost will be. I know that you gals probably remember me making this gorgeous sign here, and I have done some stamping and some painting techniques, and I applied some clay molds, and I just really loved this piece. Then we have this cute little fully operational salvaged plantation shutter. I've cleaned it up really well, put this cute little buffalo check ribbon on here, and also a beautiful wreath. 
There is a hanger on the back as well if you want to hang this, but it also would look cute just sitting on a shelf. This was a really fun project, and if you saw that video, you know, this didn't start out white. I had a different color on there, didn't like it, and ended up having everything painted white just to give it that nice, cohesive look. This is so cute. It has a hanger on the back, and you put your little faux plants in there, and it is just going to be really cute on your wall. And I also love the fleur-de-lis. Next up is this beautiful caddy that Mr. Shabby himself made. I just thought it turned out so beautiful. And then I painted it. It has a crackle finish on there. And I also applied these clay molds on both sides just to take it from farmhouse and bring it to a little kind of shabby look. So you gals know how much I love some galvanized metal buckets. And if you saw my Valentine video last week, I did a really cute stencil on my bucket and I've got it on my dining room table. This I picked up in a thrift haul a couple of months back and I just didn't use it like I thought I was going to. So I'm gonna pass it along to one of you. These are just some cute little pillows that I made. They have um, burlap front and the Osnaberg muslin on the back. And I stenciled them with a cute little chandelier stencil and then put some little rhinestones on there just to add a little bit of bling. And I've got one in teal and one in black. These were just some cute little tin cans that I upcycled and I used a stamped clay embellishment on the front just to kind of jazz up your old plain metal tin can. These are from another painted silver video that I've done on my channel and these make the cutest little risers. You can find these in thrift stores. These, neither one of them even had the inside that goes into the chafing dish itself. So we just put some wood on here and that way they've gone from broken silver pieces to cute little risers. This is the last of the items that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. And if you saw my antique store haul where we had gone antiquing when we were in Chattanooga for Christmas, then you remember that I picked up this beauty. It was filthy, but you can see it has cleaned up so beautifully. I didn't know if it worked, but it does. I even have a little video of the percolator going and also of me opening the spout here to dispense coffee into a cup. This thing is so beautiful and I was so excited to put it in my kitchen. It didn't fit where I wanted to put it on my countertop. I'm so sad about that. Look how cute this is. But instead of putting it in a closet somewhere and never using it, I thought I would pass it along to one of you. Then I have just a few items left from my vendor market that were from Christmas. These are wood cutouts. They are so cute little door hangers. This one is a distressed white and it has the buffalo check on there with a little rusty bell. This one is also white and it has a taupe and cream buffalo check and a cute little teal and gold ribbon. And it also has the rusty little bell on that as well. This one is a stained wood and it has the buffalo check on there and the little rusty bell. All of them have the hangers for you to be able to hang them on your door. And I have mine that I hang out on my door every year too. Aren't they cute? And this sign here is also with Iron Orchid Designs stamps. It's got our Santa on there, has Believe. Then it has all kinds of gorgeous greenery stamped on there. And this is always one of my best sellers at Christmas. So I can't wait to be able to offer this to one of you. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I do hope on Friday, January 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, you will pop on over to the Kinda Shabby Etsy shop and check these beauties out. And until next time, my sweet friends, be blessed.